All right, welcome to the No Name Nonsense Podcast. So we are going to talk about a very heated debate in all the cultures. We're going to talk about best trilogies of all time, best movie trilogies of all time. Because um, if you go to music, you know, you got what, Blueprint 1, 2, mm-hmm. and 3. Mm-hmm. You can put up there. But we're going to go best movie. We're going to keep it just the movies here. Best movie trilogies of all time. So I'm going to jump right off, and then I'm going to get the obvious out the way. I mean, everybody knows Lord of the Rings. Is the best trilogy of all time, and uh, Tiffany loves Lord of the Rings. And <laughs> if you want to follow her, follow her at a bus. <laughs> and tell her to how much she loves Lord, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> to hear all my reviews. No, uh, I know it's a great movie, and I yeah. wish that I, I would be more interested in it. You don't have to wish. It for just that. didn't. I mean, I feel like it's everyone. Like it has to be a great movie. It Lord is three. of them walking through a. It's just not for me. <laughs> I gotta agree with Tiffany. I have not <laughs> seen one Lord of the Rings in in, in its entirety. Uh, shame on me. Oh no, no shame on you. I don't but, think it's even a black dude asleep. in Lord of the Rings. I yeah. mean, as we talk about it, they didn't, they didn't even do a However, tokenism I mean, in Lord I mean, of the Rings. As a, as a movie, I do consider myself a movie buff. Mm-hmm. So eventually. Uh, maybe after this, uh, <laughs> he's like, eventually I'm gonna do it. The last yeah. movie was like 2001 yeah. or two. He's like, eventually, <laughs> after this, I'll get around to it. After this being a legitimate he, segment, when you know he goes that? in space, he will watch them. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get around. I'm a, I think I'm gonna get around to it. All right, yeah, I'll get, I'll get back to y'all in 2022. All right, I'll I can't wait to get the phone years. call or the text from two. Give me, give me three years. Three years. It will get back. We'll come back. We'll get to the text like, dang, that dude. Aragon is on, on Dolo. I'm mean, like, yeah, I know. He real, lady. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we'll get back to this uh, topic uh, three years from now. Uh, I would right. say my other trilogy that I enjoy that probably okay, no so one... Okay, that's number three? Oh, no, that's my number one. Oh, number one. Yeah, that's my <laughs> number, number one trilogy. One. I think Lord of the Rings, not The Hobbit. I'm sure many people agree with Please, not The Hobbit. I need everybody to understand, All not right. The not Hobbit. Includes, doesn't include The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Lord no, of the Rings. No, uh, no take Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fellowship. You know, two towers. So you don't have to watch that one. Okay, yeah, 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 no, 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 watch that one. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. The other one I have is no one knows. It's called the um, the Before Trilogy. Uh, it's Before Sunrise, Sunset, Before Sunrise, and I believe Before Midnight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that, it's, that was with um, Ethan Hoyt. Hawk with Hoyt. No, no, I call him Hoyt. Oh, you call? Oh, yeah, yes, Hoyt. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, it is a movie that I think it's Richard Linklater made it, but the whole. <laughs> Don't worry, he's a father, guys. Everybody knows he's a tunes as a father, so he out here living his best life here. We're gonna break it. He gonna we gonna get somebody. We're gonna get a cameo here. Uh oh. Or or somebody gonna get the hands. Either or. <laughs> he, he said a little prayer right before he opened the door. Yeah, he, he did. He did do that. So no, I would say yeah, that one is one of my favorite. Now, granted, I'm gonna let everybody know this trilogy is just motherfuckers talking. Nothing happened. It's just talking about shit. Like and like the first one starts off where they are both young as hell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes that's, that's how Beyonce feels about this. I'm like, motherfucker, please. Um, I'm gonna give you all the sex appeal, and you talk about motherfuckers talking for a trilogy. Yes, I'm talking about motherfuckers talking for a trilogy. Uh, yeah, but the first one starts off when they are just like, like newly out of college, and they meet him and his girl meet, and he's uh, the gentleman's in a foreign country, and they head it off, and then the second one picks up. Where nine years later, where they just happen to end up meeting again and having a conversation about where their life has been, and some of them have divorces already, and blah blah blah. And then the third one picks up where they're actually together now and have their own family, but their family is still mixed because he had a you know he had a wife, they have an ex wife now, but they had a kid together and all that. So the reason why I enjoy it is because, and this is going to be fucked up to say, but. I feel like it deals with real life bullshit. Like everybody has probably had someone in their life that they wish they would have made a better connection with and didn't do. But also the film, the every sequel grows with the audience. So when I first saw this, I was like in my twenties and it was like, Oh, this is pretty dope. Like it's a movie where people just talking about good shit, like God and does he exist and relationships and all that. Then the second movie I probably saw in my late twenties where they're talking about all the expectations and dreams they had that just didn't come to fruition and now they're in this lives that they are now. And they wish that maybe nine years ago they would have took the chance and worked it out because maybe their lives would be different. And as a person who lives with certain, not regrets, but certain things that I wish I would have taken advantage of, that, that kind of hit me. And then the last one is down together and everything is not copacetic like they thought it would be. 
They have to deal with the fact of all the decisions they made in their past, and each one has to deal with it from their spouse and etc. So again, for me, it's very rare we get sequels that can grow. And I, that the last one I think that came out when I was in probably my early thirties, mm-hmm. so I'm in my, my mid thirties now. But it, it grew, the characters grew, and the situations grew. And that's rare that you get in sequels. Kind of sequels give you the same, the majority of the same with a twist. These were like, no, these are almost completely different characters now because their life has jaded them and changed their outlook on life. So I would get into before series trilogy. Those are my top two. I mean, my three, I think it's ties between a bunch of other stuff everybody's going to mention. So I don't know if you have one DJ Toons with trilogies that you uh, you rock with. So uh, number three on my list, I might have to go with The Matrix. Mm. You know, that was one of the game changers in cinematic history. You know what I'm saying? But is it not just front heavy? I feel like Matrix One is dope. The other two were kind of. Eh. I I like Matrix Reloaded. Revolutions. For real, was, for real I like Revolutions more. That's, that's what I saw online. That more, uh, more, more people were, were feeling the third one and not the second. Man, I, I enjoyed Reloaded. Reloaded because it was just more entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Revolutions was just con- a bunch of content and like <laughs> <laughs> then the, the fight scene with the machines and you know what I'm saying? The Zion. And- I feel like I don't fuck with Revo- uh, Reloaded as much because I feel like Revo- <laughs> Reloaded because some folks just fighting just to be fighting. Like at one point, yeah, Neo fights like <laughs> the person's bodyguard, like the Asian dude. Yeah. I just, I have no reason yeah, for him yeah, to yeah, fight. That, that was and he's like, to know someone, you have to fight him. What, what life are you living? <laughs> like, you just go around that, punching Colt Jackson in the face? Like, oh, I know you now. Hey, that was random. That was super <laughs> random. But the fight against the twin uh, ghost, uh, that dude, was dope. the drag ghost dope. or whatever you yeah, call yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the uh, the highway scene. Yeah. Shit was pretty What dope. about that the burly brawl? The burly brawl, they call it, with all the Smiths. Versus oh. Neo. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, lo- I do love that shit. I, ain't I gonna mean, lie. yeah. The, the, the CGI don't the hold CGI up well. The CGI was kind of but, <laughs> but, but, but it, it was entertaining. Yeah, it yeah, was I do entertaining. It, it was appealing to the eye at the time. You know what I'm saying? That's when I'm over to pull the pole out the yeah. cement. The cement's still on the end. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps the first one. I mean, there's some parts I do fuck with. But yeah. I, I know that I guess bothers me about the second one. The whole. Shout out to them putting the whole, like, Zion being full of black folks. Or at mm-hmm. least brown folks. Black yeah. and brown folks. So I'll give them that credit. So that's why I like the shit on Reloaded because mm-hmm. it did do, do that to say, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, if anybody's going to survive this shit, uh-huh. it's going to be black and brown people. Yeah, like, yeah. So shout out so to we that. Do. We survive it. The only part I don't fuck with is like the rave orgy scene, uh, which I think everybody doesn't fuck with, but it's just so weird. Like yeah. Everybody's celebrating and dancing and then like Neo's banging Neo's his chick in yeah. his cave. Yeah. And they keep flashing back with yeah. Sweet and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that's also reload is when we know that Jada was always into those entanglements. Huh? I mean, we realized that too with Morpheus and other brother that she yeah. was like fucking with. You yeah, know, remember yeah. like she had broke up with Morpheus and started fucking with that other dude. But we should have saw it. We should have saw it, Jada. Yeah, we got some foreshadowing. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we didn't see it coming. But August wasn't the first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number two on my list. Uh, I'm going to go with one that, you know, I did a lot of research mm-hmm. on, um, you know what I'm saying, I Google, you know, uh, trilogies, best trilogies of all time. And one that I didn't see on the list that came to mind mm-hmm. was Avengers. Ooh. I had I had put Avengers at my number two spot. I, so are I you consider, telling me I consider it Infinity point, War, three, Endgame, one movie? 3.5. Okay, gotcha. gotcha 3.5. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair yeah, enough. Avengers, fair enough. Age of Ultron, Infinity War. And then Endgame being 3.5. Well, people shit on Age of Ultron, though. It was horrible. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but Infinity Wars and Endgame did, did you know, carry They carried the weight. Carried the weight. And, okay. you know what I'm saying, made up for Age of Ultron. I feel like I, I know what your I number kinda, one I is. I kind of deleted that out the membrane. <laughs> I, I couldn't even, like, you know, tell you one scene, you know, out of the movie or any, any one line. Fight scene, nothing. But uh, Avengers ended up being my number two. Okay. And then my number one of all I kind of feel like I already know what One it of is. my favorites. Uh-huh. The Terminator. All wow. Like, they were more than three, but we're, we're basing it on one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one and two were so infinitely Classics. freaking great. Classics. Terminator 2, Judgment Day being my favorite movie probably of all time. Oh, that's my favorite movie of all time. Terminator 2, like, you know what I'm saying? Before The Matrix. Sorry, you can't join the club. Was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do remember that. You do remember yes. that? Have you seen it? I have. Yeah. I mean, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. I mean, bro, it, it, it did so much for my life at the time. <laughs> I mean, before the Matrix this the came same out. Movie that I have seen? No, <laughs> before about, the Matrix. Talk about a Jack ATM. It was you know, because, shoot shotguns and flip it to, to reload like, it, you know. You know I, 
I, I like just this been, is the same one with Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had like a ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? John Connor, life Linda, changing? Linda Hamilton. It was. <laughs> no, no, because being a a, a, a movie connoisseur, yeah. mm. and even at, a, at such a young age, 1991, I was, I, was ten and a, I was 10 and a half, you know what I'm saying, years old. CGI but and I, it's crazy. I still had such an appreciation for movies and yeah. cinematography, yeah, even yeah. though I had no idea what the hell it was, but I understood what the hell I was watching. And I knew I was watching greatness. Something dope. Right? <laughs> yeah. I was watching greatness. Yeah, it, it, before my eyes. The the you know storyline works like, well. Coming off the sequel, like this before. yeah. The CGI actually still holds up now, which is kind of ridiculous yeah. and crazy. Yeah, like, um, and then we had never really seen action to that level. I mean, just imagine at this point in cinema, you're in the theater. And you see this motherfucker kick a desk out of a window of this building mm-hmm. and basically must has a pretty much handheld bazooka mm-hmm. and is blowing up police cars mm-hmm. and helicopters out of a building. Yeah. That shit had never really been seen in cinema. Nah. Like nah. the closest we got was maybe Rambo nah. shooting some shit and but like at that moment, like we had never seen this mix of action and CGI mm-hmm. fit so seamlessly. So, yeah, well, I, I don't I mean, know if it changed my life, I mean, but that, it was my favorite movie of all nah, time. I mean, that didn't even, the half of it. I mean, the T-1000 and just shooting this dude in half. And <laughs> right. Like, coming back together and just like, <laughs> fuck, me. Like, uh, I'm here. I'm still here. I'm like, what you want to do? Probably. Like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> probably top ten villain of all time. Yeah. You didn't have absolutely. to say much of no lines. No lines. Nothing. Actually, funny fact is Arnold got paid, like, almost like. He got he got paid per word. word. Yes. He has 700 words and ended up banking like 15, 15 million. million dollars. He got yeah. paid per word. Yeah. Yeah. 15 million dollars. Yeah. That is always my second f- fun movie fact. My first fun movie fact is Alec Guinness, the guy who played Obi-Wan Kenobi, only played that role because his manager owed George Lucas a favor. Mm-hmm. And he did the movie for free, mm-hmm. but got 0.01% of the profits of Star Wars for everything. So he's made more money off of Star Wars and his estate has made more money off of Star Wars than anything he's ever done combined. Wow. And he never wanted to do the movie. And when people asked him about it, he said it's something, he's like, oh, it's a story about some space wizards with light swords. Like, he pretty much like shitted on it and be like, this is not going to make any money. This is bullshit, mm-hmm. but I'll do it because my manager owed George Lucas a favor. Wow. And made more money off that movie than anything Crazy. in history that he's ever done. I got, I got an honorable, honorable mention. Okay. The Die Hard... Wow. Die Hard gonna... 1, 2, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. You're not going to take out 2 because too shitty. Too shitty. Again, <laughs> Die Hard 1. No, no, it's real. Why is it always 2? I the second know. one is like, okay, let's step Well, no, because it was a trend for a while that the second ones were shitty, but then like the trend became the third ones became the shitty ones eventually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, that, that, that didn't hold, you know, hold water with uh, Die Hard. The, 2 was the shittiest. It was awful. <laughs> Because it just redid part Die one, Hard but was worse. So freaking great! That was yeah. a classic. And the Die Hard mm-hmm. three with you know what I'm saying the chemistry Sam Jackson. between Sam Jackson, was Zeus was the yeah, name. Zeus. Yeah, that shit was fucking awesome. like lightning bolts. Whatever some shit he yeah. said. I, I've only watched Die Hard Revengeance a few times. Really? Man, I've seen Die Hard a million times. Yeah. I've seen Die Hard two probably half a million, but three. Yeah. Because they don't show three a lot on TV. Nah, they don't. Nah. But I think it's a cult classic. <laughs> Three. Yeah, yeah. People don't agree with it. Uh, I know people are going to shit on this because we don't honorably mention things like Back to the Future, mm-hmm. which I didn't care for the third one as much, but I Mission felt that. Mission Impossible. Oh, Mission yeah. Impossible. It's a lot. I was there is a lot. Is, yeah. I Mission Impossible 3 to this day is my favorite Mission Impossible. Even as the uh, suns get bigger and bigger. Three that's was what, with uh, C- yeah, uh, Philip uh, Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. That shit is past. so dope. When that he just stared at he was like, what's your name? I'm going to kill you. Yep. Like, it, it's so fucking dope. That um, but you also, two was terrible. Two was awful. With John Woo. With the long hair, yeah. with shoulder length hair, <laughs> yeah. on the bike, in the desert. I hated it. God awful. Yeah. One, one was, was good. Was um, good. Other and and the other ones after it was, were good. Oh, yeah. They all been, I feel like but they get better, better and better and better. But awful. I always think three was that moment for yeah. me where I was like, okay, this yeah, series can make official. it. Um, Godfather. Third one's where everybody shits on the third one. Yeah. But the first two was so good. Classic. Yeah, like, it first eliminates. Two amazing. The uh, Hunger Games. Ooh. The Hunger Games <laughs> was my number one. I will get that. If you Games combine the last two as one movie, yes. I, I didn't see all of them. The Hunger Games but, uh, is really, really good. That's a good, yeah. that's a good um, one. The other one, people, so Indiana, Indiana Jones. Because people Jones. forget that Crystal Skull ever existed. Um, you know, the contention with Indiana Jones is I'm in favor that I think the second one is the best one of all of them. And people shit on me for that, but... It's always an argument between the second and third. Which one is better or worse? Everybody I talk to likes the third more than the second. I'm probably the one that likes the second more than the third. But 
you can't go wrong with that one. It's like having the big joke, a little joker, and ace of spades. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to win that book if you play it right. Um, so that was all the one. The other one I've seen people hit me hard on, or like when I was looking up and researching for trilogies in my mind. Um, but a lot of them have that flaw, the third one, like mm -hmm. X-Men, mm -hmm. Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, X-Men um, was on there, Spider-Man. Blade. Blade. Uh, but the one I think is the biggest one that people were hitting me on was um, the Dark Knight trilogy oh. and Captain America's trilogy. Damn, I forgot about the freaking Dark Knight. Now, I thought that was going to be your number one. I actually thought that was going to be your number one with the Dark Knight trilogy. But people hit me hard on those two trilogies because I think it's a... Basically, a conversation of which of those two are the best trilogies of all of comic book history, The Dark Knight or Captain America's. And I think that's a hard, hard, yeah, really Captain, hard Captain one to make America out. Was, uh, was really yeah, good. I mean, if you want to say the first one was the weak one, which yeah. I thought was still a good movie, and people say the third Batman was the weak one in that, Dark Knight Rises, but it's both, a good conversation to have. Of Both second installments were <laughs> instant classics. <laughs> Fucking The Winter that Soldier. Winter Soldier is probably you know. still one of my favorite yeah. comic movies of all time. It like, is. It really is. That's a tough one, man. I don't, um, Hannibal Lecter, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, uh, Hannibal, Hannibal what, Red Dragon? I think Red was the last Dragon. One. I didn't really fuck with Hannibal that much. I did. You I did? Liked, I like Red Dragon and I like Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. I didn't really like Hannibal that much. Um, with some other ones that we go, trilogies. Um, um, I, I saw trilogy people, of the Dead. Oh, uh, Evil Dead? Night of the Living Dead, Dawn oh. of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Day of the, uh, Day of the Dead was probably the... Dawn of the Dead was the third one, right? Or was it Day of the Dawn Dead was the third was one? Second. Okay, Day of the Dead was the one that people think is the weakest, where it's in like a military base underground. Mm. Uh, Dawn of the Dead is probably the most beloved one because it's in the mall, mm. and that was dope. That actually got remade by uh, Zack Snyder and was actually really, really good, too. Um, that one, and then Night of the Living Dead is a classic. I mean, it pretty much, it was no such thing as the zombies that we know today mm -hmm. if Night of the Living Dead didn't happen. Like, that's what made the arc of what zombies are slow moving yeah. eat your brains blah, mm -hmm. blah 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 like that kind of bullshit so Night of Living Dead and then the Mariachi Trilogy I hated the last one Once Upon a Time in Mexico yeah, that shit was with so Johnny awful. Depp it was bad the, was yeah bad. the El Mariachi was good mm -hmm. I mean and I never seen Desperado was just fucking was dope was, was I mean sick. when you got Antonio Banderas like shooting bullets sideways at motherfuckers mm -hmm. you know it's a black man like you, yeah. you got me hooked yeah. <laughs> like, motherfuckers like throwing the bullets out of the gun at you <laughs> so um, Naked Gun made it on a lot of lists Naked Gun never and all that I remember from that was like OJ Simpson getting like stung or something or had like the big afro or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember the series that much at oh, all. No, I remember them. I've seen all of them. Naked Gun, two and a half, and 30, 33 and a third. Yeah, yeah two and a third, yes. Yeah, I've seen all of them. <laughs> Tiffany's like, I'm like I, I have know. never seen any yeah, of them. Yeah. Austin Powers. <laughs> Gold member was terrible. Yeah, it was. But. Beyonce. Shout out. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll be all. Sorry, Beyonce. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I mean, Gold member was my favorite one of all time. Oh, I support man. black women. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mad Max trilogy. Anybody seen great Mad, never great, seen great Mad trilogy. Max? Trilogy. Actually, Mad Max will probably win the award. I don't know what it's called when it's for, like a quadruple it or whatever. It will probably win the award for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mad Max one is a cl cult classic. Mm -hmm. Mad Max two is one of the dopest films made in that genre. Mel Gibson was in all three. Ah, uh, the fourth one he was not. And uh, Beyond Thunderdome was probably weaker, but it was more campier. But then you do Mad Max Fury Road with uh, Tom Hardy playing the character of Mad Max. Fury Road may be the best one out of all of them. Really? And that's the one that's more yeah, recent. It came out more recently, yeah. Charlie uh, Stern and all Charlie that. Stan. Yep, yep. Uh, so if you were going to break the first four movies, I think it's an argument for that one and maybe Rocky. It's probably best four movie oh, stint damn. that's yeah, dope as hell. I didn't have that one on there. Oh, well. Um, Scream 1 through 3. I mean, you've seen Scream. I have, but like... Nah. Scream 3 was kind of... <laughs> it was kind of whack. Yeah, and 4. As much as I like 4, because we talked about it, I know 4 doesn't get that much reception, so... Star Wars. I always have a problem with Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, that yeah, was... Yeah, but was people love five, it, so... 4, 5, or 6. Um, 6. 6. Hell yeah. Well, people love Return. I mean, it's Star Wars. I mean, as I say this... Pirates. I Pirates. actually really enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I think one it is made I like well, one and, and it's funny. I would say, I so, like I would the, say the argument is about two and three. Yeah. That is the argument about two I, and three. I like two. I like Dead Man's Chest. It was at World's End. Um, but technically, there's just... four, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody is it four or five? I, I think it's five. Isn't it five that they released? Yeah, I think released? so. Was the last one didn't have Orlando Bloom and Yeah, Karen Knightley. Yeah, they released five of them. Selma Hayek, I think, was in one of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they should have stopped after the third. I will admit, I think one of the best Martin Day sword fights is in Dead Man's Chest, where they're in the spinning thing and they're fighting. Yes, that one, and then also the what is it? uh, Three people, two swords. Mm -hmm. Where it's Kira Knightley and the other like guys, and they're they're throwing the swords. Like I feel like those two scenes choreographed. It's some of the oh, best wow. sword fighting scenes like of all time oh, wow. in movie history, which I think no one talks about how fucking dope that is. Like mm-hmm. when you're rolling in the Timmy and they're fighting, and yeah. then you have these motherfuckers throwing the swords to each other while they're chained to each other, mm-hmm. fighting people off and they're throwing it to like it's some of the best shit <laughs> yeah. ever. Like I watched it recently with my daughters and literally forgot how dope those scenes yeah. were and it was like, this doesn't get enough credit for how mm-hmm. good this was. Like it, it it's ridiculous. Aliens. Uh three was terrible. But was two was probably one of the best sequels of all time. Aliens mm-hmm. uh, with Jordan. I mean, actually, you know who does part two? Uh, James Cameron actually does the se- sequel of Aliens. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Ridley Scott did the first one. James Cameron did the sequel. So it's always the funny line that James Cameron will make your sequel better than the original, a la Terminator Two versus Terminator One. James Cameron did both of them, but the sequels. Obviously superior. Oh, so yeah. people are waiting on what Avatar two mm-hmm. slash three. I don't yeah, know. it probably will never come. They, just, they, I don't know, according yeah. to uh, yeah, it's just, it's in the works. <sighs> we'll see. Yeah, it's like three, four, or five or something. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's making a whole just yeah like <laughs> whole series. Yeah, it'll probably you know what I'm saying. We, I mean, it'll probably outlast us. I don't think we're gonna be around for no. five. How much money if, does if he they, need? If they continue man. at this rate, <laughs> like he has has so much years. money. Like, what does he want me to need to make like seven movies of like some blue people? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, like, it was a really good movie though. Yeah, just saying. What highest grossing until like the Avengers and Marvel took over? Mm. Like, I think it was one for the longest time. I want to say maybe Endgame beat it. What? If we looked at the highest grossing movies of all time, I know Avatar was number one for yeah. for, for for a very long time. I think Marvel movies keep upsetting it now, yeah. but mm-hmm. I mean, that's because you know the culture now. Yeah. Also, sure. Marvel like cheats movie theaters. Support Marvel, but realize like they cheat movie theaters. <laughs> they ask for like seventy percent of the ticket profits, where most movies ask for like sixty percent for the first week and then drop down to fifty to thirty percent. Marvel was like, nah, we need seventy the whole run. Mm. Thanks, so, thanks, Marvel. That's yeah, why yeah, yeah, yeah. Prices keep rising. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> That's yeah, why it man. cost me forty dollars a ticket. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Uh, any other ones that we mentioned? Best trilogies? Because they might. Because if we don't mention one, somebody's going to be like, "You forgot about the trilogy of it." I'm be like, "Bro, you know." Toy Story. Uh, oh, Toy Story is probably the best trilogy of the all Born, time. The oh, Born, the Born series. The first one was kind of weak. Actually, let's let's not draw Jade over Toy Story. It's not a bad movie in Toy no, Story absolutely. at all. Absolutely. Like all the other ones we can I guess pick it gets up downplayed because it's animated. Yeah. yeah. I think so. But, but if you look at Toy Story, it's it's there's not There's also four of them. Yeah, it's four. Yeah. Four. Mm-hmm. But I'm not actually as you said it, I'm trying to think like I don't can't even find a nitpick in the top no. even all four, but at least the top three, like I for the longest time felt like two was the best one. And mm-hmm. then three I thought was really, really good. I mean Wow, I think maybe that has to change my list. I think Toy Story is the best trilogy. I think it was rated in the top. It had the top thirty-three on Empire Online, and it had, of course, Lord of the Rings number one. Yeah. uh, Original Star Wars four, five, and six Mm -hmm. to Back to the Future three, Toy Story Story four, and Godfather. I think that's disrespectful to Toy Story because it's not a bad one in that. You can make an argument the first Lord of the Rings, eh, because people took so long to get started. You can make an argument of Back to the Future 3 like we talked about, Godfather 3 like we talked about. Mm-hmm. You, I don't know anybody that makes an argument about 1, 2, or 3 Toy Story being anything but perfect. So you think it fits uh, number 2 behind Lord of the Rings? I think it's number 1. You think it's number 1? I mean, because again, I'm trying to think about... that's God. how easy it is to trump Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but seriously, we might, like we might, be, we might be able to push it on. Yeah, like I mean, is it? Does anyone have a complaint about Toy Story? Like I've never read. My anybody... complaint is that I've had to watch it so many times. <laughs> this is so good, and your son it. loves yeah. it exactly. <laughs> <laughs> your son's not gonna sit down and watch at fifteen Lord of the Rings so many times that you're tired. I'm of not it. gonna oh, sit yeah. down and watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fifteen too at that point. He probably doesn't want you in his room at that you point. Were, uh, he's watching something else <laughs> nah. on repeat. Hey, probably loves you. <laughs> All right, well, that's good. We're going to end there on the No Name Nonsense Podcast. And I know we went wrong because we were trying to think of trilogies and go through them. But uh, yeah. tell us what your favorite trilogy is. Let us know. Or you could just realize that you've seen none of these movies we're talking about and you skip past this segment because you're like, I don't watch movies. Huh? Either or, you, 
Please don't get scared. Hope you, uh, <laughs> we hope you were entertained. Yeah. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. All right, well, we'll be back to some music. Oh, well, I guess not music on this one if you listen to the podcast. But we'll come back with some more segments on other stuff that we want to talk about that maybe will amuse you. 